Welcome. So what I have here is y equals negative x squared plus 2x plus 4. And what we're going to do is we're going to solve by completing the square. So the main important thing when completing the square, we've got to make sure that our a is equal to a positive 1. And we have a problem here because we have a negative 1. So even though it's a, a number, even though it's still 1, but it's negative, so we've got to make sure we factor it out. So since we're going to be solving by completing the square, I'll set this equal to 0. And then I need to factor out this negative 1. So 0 equals negative 1 times x squared minus 2x plus 4. Now I'm only going to factor it out of the first two terms because that's the, that's the square uh, or the trinomial that I want to create. So therefore, I can factor it down to a binomial squared, and then I can solve it. So now I just need to be able to figure out the value of c that is going to complete my square or make a perfect square trinomial. So to do that, I take b divided by 2 and square it. So in this case, my b is negative 2 divided by 2 squared. Well, negative 2 divided by 2 equals negative 1. Negative 1 squared equals 1. So now I'm going to make sure I add that 1 to the left and the right side of my equation to keep everything equal. So I have 1 plus 0 is 1 equals negative 1 x squared minus 2x plus 1 plus 4. Now notice I'm adding it inside the parentheses because remember, that's what I want to do. I want to create a perfect square trinomial. And that's exactly what the b divided by 2 does is it creates a perfect square trinomial. And perfect square trinomials are awesome because now we can factor them to binomial squared. However, I'm not done yet because since I factored out a number, I, I need to understand that this negative 1 is being multiplied by the number 1 that I added inside the parentheses. So therefore, I need to make sure I multiply it by um, the 1 that I added on the other side to make sure everything's equal. Now I see my binomial squared. I can now factor this to its, uh, I'm sorry, I see my perfect square trinomial. Now I can factor this down to my binomial squared. So negative 1 times 1 is negative 1 equals negative 1 times x minus 1 squared plus 4. Now what I can do is I can apply my inverse operations to solve. So the first thing I'll do is I'll subtract 4. So if I have negative 5 equals negative 1 times x minus 1 squared, divide by negative 1. So I have 5 equals uh, x minus 1 squared. And I'll take the square root of both sides. So therefore, I have the square root of 5 equals x minus 1. And those undo each other. Then I'll add 1. And remember, when we take the square root, it's going to be plus or minus. Always got to make sure you remember that. Then we add 1 on both sides. Therefore, my final answer is x equals plus or minus, I'm sorry, let's just do 1 plus or minus the square root of 5. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Those are your two solutions by solving using completing the square. Thanks.